Hello. How's it going? <laughs> I was trying to set up my um my uncle my dad and my uncle had to use my computer for a Zoom meeting and then so they moved my camera around and everything and so I had to like try and uh like move everything around um but it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird position. I feel like it's now a weird angle. But that's okay. <laughs> And that I don't know. I feel like I've perfected where I want my camera, but then now, I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to be moving around every stream until I, I like it again. Dawn, how's it going? How are you? <laughs> what is up? So the, I think this is the first one, man of Meden, Meden, Meden. Oh, anthology, man of Meden. Uh, but the the whole series, I think there's three of them. I've been meaning to play this and I've been looking forward to it all year because I wanted to play it for for like October or like spooky games. But again, because these are kind of I think it's a longer game. I think it's around like six hours ish of game. So I don't want to not, you know, not play these, but it's going to take us a while to get through the series. So it's good that we're starting now. So. I'm excited. I will give you guys shout outs. <laughs> he failed to close his door. Oh, Madan. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, kitty. Oh, Madan. No, kitty. That makes sense. Yeah, kitty. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh, it didn't... Oh, it did shout out Donna. The cat. The cat got you killed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is starting to get ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Ooh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Scared the piss out of me. <laughs> oh my god, if you actually want to see me freaking jump, clip that. <laughs> <coughs> I love jump videos. <laughs> Those are awesome. But yeah, we're going to get into it. I've been kind of scared of playing. Well, it works out playing scary games in the daytime, but I've also been kind of scared of playing <laughs> scary games at nighttime. So I, I'm going to try to play games at nighttime, scary games for the next couple of months. But it works out that in my favor, playing them in the daytime and it's easier for my schedule and easier on my body because I don't get so freaked out <laughs> at nighttime or daytime. Sorry. <laughs> so this is going to either really suck or going to be really cool that it's at nighttime, but we'll see. <laughs> they should. They really should. It freaks me out even more, but I don't know. It's just it. It has. It's, I haven't been doing that on purpose. It's just been kind of working out that way. Oh, no. My lamp just died. It was on <gasps> my lava lamp. No, I hope the, oh, oh, no. I think it's the bulb that is loose or the cord. Oh yeah, also with the new camera angle, you guys can't really see my lava lamp that much and it's kind of sad. So I don't know, we'll think about this new camera angle. Come on, lava lamp. I wonder if just like the the bulb is loose. I'll fix it later. That's sad. I like having it on when I'm playing games. Mm. Yeah, I, I, when I hit it though, it, it did, I was moving it around trying to keep it in the camera angle. And I know the cord is a little wonky. Hmm. But I'm not going to try and touch the ball because I don't want to burn my hands. <laughs> Ooh, should we use a keyboard? We'll see. You know what? We'll start off with a keyboard. We can always switch over. <clears throat> we'll see. Okay. I accept. Um, okay. Sure. Brightness. Okay. How do I? Okay. We're going to keep it kind of bright is invisible oh we're gonna keep it kind of bright so i can actually see 
So there is probably good. Also, I need to switch over the game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, probably. I, I should. That's probably a really good idea. <laughs> Don't play alone. Play alone. Yes. Play alone. I meant to switch it over. <laughs> Ooh, solo story. Continue. New story. Load story. Available when more saves, save games are found. Okay. Interesting. Killer Mike, how are you? How's it going? Um, there's three of them. I think I don't remember what the second one is, but I think New Hope is the newest one. Can I pick this up yet? I don't think the bulb is burnt out. I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. That's sad. Oh, Little Hope is the one you have. I think that one's the newest one. Pretty good. Just been uh, chilling out. I've worked 11 days straight, and then I had two days off. So those two days that I were off, was off, which is, this is my second day off, and it was it was so cool. It was amazing to just chill and do absolutely nothing, <laughs> except a whole bunch of laundry and just chilling. <laughs> but it was good. It was great. Continue. Why is that locked? What? Uh, oh, new story. Duh. Oh, survival is expected. Your skills will be tested. Lethal. Ooh, I don't know which one is the best one. I feel like forgiving is a good pop level. But is it going to be too easy? Challenging might be okay. But lethal is not going to be a good pop level. <laughs> yeah, my even my boss was like, why, why the hell are you still here? He's like, what the hell? Like, why are you? I'm like, I know I'm on day 11 or I'm on day 10. I was like, and then he was like, get someone else to take your shift for tomorrow because that's insane. Um. But I worked the 11th day because I couldn't get it covered. But that's all right. <laughs> because uh, I was looking forward to having two days off in a row. It was supposed to only be one, but it became two because someone else took my 12th shift. I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? Uh, what do we do? Let's do challenging. Let's do challenging. We'll see how hard it is. Um... I think we should just chill with the mouse and keyboard, right? Mouse and keyboard sh shouldn't be so bad. I haven't looked up the trailer for this, so this is going to be a surprise. I just know that it's it's good. <laughs> also, I hope game audio is okay for you guys. Just let me know if it's not. Post-war to Joe. All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? <laughs> Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. 
why? Actually, sorry. Let me see if there's um, subtitles. Yeah, let's turn those on. Okay. Sorry. Resume. Yes. I got my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Oh. Ooh. Um, tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Say nothing. Tell me about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Ooh, bamboo. Maybe he's gonna... He's gonna... Ooh, dragon tile. Yeah. Tell me what you see. Press and hold. Oh, what the hell? No. Oh. What? Press and hold to pick up objects. Okay. Use A to examine. Oh, okay. Oh, a fish. It. Looks like a fish? A salmon or something. Maybe? <laughs> Death. Traits updated. Oh, that's cool. Reckless, selfish, insecure, altruistic, guarded. Ooh, okay. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Okay. Is this thing gonna just hit her in the f hit him in the face? Press the corners. Oh shit! Oh wrong. I'm left clicking. It's right clicking. Whoops. Oops, wrong way. What wrong one? Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Is that a body that they're lowering into the ship? Maybe. Oh, no guns or weapons or something. Oh, maybe poison or explosives? Come on, man! Hey! Bust off! Nobody pushes me around! 
Oh shit. Jesus. The bulb is still working. I thought you played this already, but that was Greedfall. Yeah, <laughs> that was Greedfall. <laughs> oh, I don't like the controls of this. Ooh. Oh, that's a sun. Okay. To Pops. Come back soon. That's cute. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I should have gotten a controller. Ooh. <gasps> Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh my God! <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's the doctor. Shit, man. What is this little book here, though? Can I, like, touch things? No, I'm just looking at this guy. Shit, man. Oh, that's the key to leave. Have you played this, Dragon? Yeah, screw this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. Oh my God.
Okay, why are we going towards the guy with the gun? What the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is there so many jump scares already? <laughs> why? Did you see that, Joe? Or am I Joe? I can't remember if I'm Joe. Oh my god, my heart. What am I doing? Oh. <gasps> what the hell? Who is killing all these people? Poor guy. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Whew. I get it, Joe. Hold on a moment. Let me get a blanket on my legs. <laughs> when is this? why it wants me to keep pressing the S the S button but so I guess if you're playing with a friend dance. Another dance? who's the lucky winner oh damn it Buckley last time I saw him in the mess hall he was fit as a fiddle poor fucker he had like a heart attack or something Damn. Sorry, buddy. Oh. This way. Hold shift to walk faster. Is that shift? Or enter? Oh, he's kind of walking faster. Is he, though? <gasps> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Woo! No. <laughs> Feeling all right? <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> Woo! Charlie, get over here. Wow. Um, I kind of regret not watching the trailer just so I can see what kind of intenseness, but it's probably for the best. <laughs> Jesus, okay, that didn't scare me as much. Whew. Joe, you're gonna die. Just like, is that Charlie? Oh God, no! Charlie! 
Woo! Oh, there's the kid. Is that his own kid? No. Jesus. Oh God, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? What the fuck? Oh my God, he just had a heart attack. Wow. Interesting. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Jesus. Oh, damn. Wow. Well, they didn't waste any time with making it scary already. Well, those guys aren't going to be in the second game. Won't you stay? This would be 200% better with Kate Walker. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> This guy is metal, that bowler hat, right? This guy's cool as shit. <laughs> so super cool. Speaks metal. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I'm already sweating. I should have put the fan on, man. <laughs> I do have Disney Plus, yeah. It is a thing in Canada. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Werewolf by Night. Ooh. Oh, I'm knocking shit over. I'm getting my fan. <laughs> oh, it's facing the wrong way. That's not very helpful. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate. Greed. <sighs> Jesus and Christ, that my dog barking to scare the shit out of me. And death. Stories such as this one. 
I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices... I'm probably going to shut the door. My dog, she is a little sir-crazy from being cooped up inside. She probably sees something outside like a raccoon because that, that barking sounds like an excited... I see a rabbit bark. Um, but yeah, so she is... She has so much energy right now, but like she can't burn it off because she's limping but her little brain oh no here she comes in here now um it's just barking at everything <laughs> you make will affect others i'll be keeping a close eye on your progress it's not my place to interfere but i might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint here's one for free there are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures if you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions <laughs> that you've taken. Or whatever mess My mom just whisked her away. <laughs> She went to check if she was legit barking at something, but just probably just a rabbit. But yeah, so she was sleeping all day today, like resting all day. So now it's nighttime and she's. So I can't wait till I can walk her. <laughs> Where's Naked Dad? Naked Dad is <laughs> Twitch demands. <laughs> you missed it. Oh, my God. So I'm going to pause for a second. So my dad, again, not too long ago I all I hear is like some grunting and like and like something going on behind me and I turn around and there's my dad putting on suntan lotion right behind me like right here you can't you can hardly see him but I'm thinking dad what the hell <laughs> why are you standing right there you do realize people can see you right and he's like oh what oh and then, and then he moves out of the way I'm like what the hell <laughs> Harry middle aged man flesh yeah woo <laughs> but yeah um naked dad is sleeping <laughs> Mark Blemish is a mythology man, man of middle age oh what did that say shit some about Alex's brother or something <laughs> Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. Okay. Oh, Brad's boyfriend? We got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. Oh. So, uh, look. That's never his boyfriend, I think. Down. The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, Kind of, yeah. Um, insecure, it's embarrassing. It's, it's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. What? That's his boyfriend and he's talking to him like that? What the hell? Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? Oh, they're siblings, I think. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. I was invited. 
tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come. Oh, sorry. Her that was his brother, yeah. Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, Melissa. Big bro Sorry. gonna die. Oh, yeah. 100%. You know, so stressful, you know? Total shocker. And then Brad is going to console it's Julia. It's been rough. I won't miss him. <laughs> um, shit. Uh, must be tough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Oh, that's nice of him, bringing his hey. little brother along. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Oh, yeah, he's, well, oh, he's going to ask her to marry him. Or that's ask... That's big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No. No, but... Asking Julia. Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh, go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right. Why do short ass girls be so fucking mean? Shentai! Dude? Like, you are five foot one. How's it going? I will pick you up, put you on oh, top Conrad's of the sister, Alex's like girlfriend. To okay. Act nice to me. And there's Conrad. Okay. Oh, he's adorable. Sorry. What up? <laughs> How's it going? What's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. A uh, lady killer. <gasps> the ending of Subnautica. Did you guys just finish it? <gasps> oh my god, how was it? Hey, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every he looks like the guy from L.A. Noir, Cole something. Uh, relax. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah cool. We got to be cool, you know? Uh, Launched you. a rocket. Oh, my God. You guys got enough supplies to r launch the rocket? That's amazing. What in the butthole is this? This is Man of Med Medan. Medan. This is a scary... Choices matter game. So I'll probably end up killing absolutely everybody, but you know, because it's just me. <laughs> I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Uh, all the time. Yeah, totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they're going to stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. <laughs> you, uh, dive a, lot? a couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Uh oh, Felice, captain of the Duke. Wow, she looks scary. I wouldn't want to fuck with her. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Wow. Is there a love interest for you to blue ball and get murdered? Yes. <laughs> Not sure who the love interest is yet, but we'll see. We'll find that out. <laughs> Oh my god. Poor I think that's Alex. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Hundred percent. Dragon's betting the older brother's gonna die. Over here. That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. 
Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Um. Ooh, Brad frustrated. Brad did his homework. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Damn. What you got? Uh, the older bro is the guy with the blue wetsuit. Yeah, I, probably only Let's one person's gonna this. survive. <laughs> That's Black true, right on the but it is also right me right. calling the shots, so I always make the wrong decision. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Can't dive. Disappointed. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Shit. <laughs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Mm, Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. No. Fed yes. Safe no. <laughs> nope. I cannot keep people safe. <laughs> okay. So what am I supposed to be doing? Hold on. My blanket is like all oh, kinds of I fucked up. Okay, I think it says here, wait for Julia to prepare the oxygen tanks. Why am I waiting for that? Hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Thanks for paying. Need a hand. Uh, thanks for paying. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know, the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? Uh, I'd still do good. <laughs> Serious. I want equal content. I just want to make sure we're both contributing equally to the relationship with our money. It's very sweet, Alex. But you contribute in other ways. It's just money. If it helps us have a good time, great. That's what it's for. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, supportive. Making a fortune on this trip. Play it cool for now. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point oh, they're totally gonna her. touch everything. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. Alright, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Okay, let's talk to this dude. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Doesn't mean you're going to be out the daddy's girl. What? You're going to be out the daddy's girl with money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. We're looking at the. Okay, so these are the pictures of the wreck. Is this the same ship? This looks like a, a plane, doesn't it? Okay. Cool. Um, let's talk to Captain Lady. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Sorry about earlier. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just- Contest, you'll lose. Daddy will pull a third yeah, mortgage and sell his weekends in the Hamptons just to keep you down. <laughs> rules, laws and customs. <laughs> These rules are all pretty basic stuff. 
How much experience do you have with these kind of dyes? Enough to know the rules. Self-assured. I've a couple wrecks over the years. I'm an expert, but, you know, experience. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I get it. How much? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. But how would somebody know that they... Oh, I just turned it off. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, I think the little brother is down here, so we'll go see little brother. See how he's doing. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. If more than that, just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Um, can we s interact with more things? I think there's this that we can. It what am I looking at here? Oh shit. What was that? Promotion. Huh. Oh, premonition. I was trying to <laughs> premonition unlocked. Ooh. Qualified diving instructor. The rear is authorized. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's go see Conrad. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Tanks a lot. Oh, can I not? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, oh, Connie. Oh, God. Looking for a first mate. Uh, what is this? A camera or that? Let's take a camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Taking that. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. <laughs> you ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Was she checking out? Oh, I thought she was checking somebody out. Noise. Nice. <laughs> hey, Don.
Ooh, there's a shark. Dun dun dun. So tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. Ooh, that's what she said. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh, I need to focus. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Don't ask a lady about you her know money. It's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Mm, it would be my pleasure. It would be my uh, rude. singular pleasure to help you part <laughs> with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Wait for the others to return. Check on Brad. Okay. So. Weather looks clear. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Crowded. Hello again, little blip. What you doing all the way out here? Hmm. Okay, let's go see Brad. Let's see how Brad's doing. So what if I look at this thing? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Uh, sympathetic. Hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Uh, what do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors. And theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Um, what got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. I hope they respect the site. You can use those old stories. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Okay. Back up top. How come I can look at this? Okay, she put it away. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Oh, is that a body? <gasps> what is that?
Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Okay, let's talk to this hey dude there. again. How's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Too bad charming isn't one of them. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, I have to keep track of the dive, but... I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <gasps> what? Oh. My. God. <laughs> God, this is not going to be good things. What is that? Is that another boat coming towards us? It looks like nobody's on there. He's smooth like a box of nails. Yeah. Who is that coming towards us? Let's look at the blip again. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. That is Guard. not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Shit. <gasps> what? Idiots! Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. What an idiot. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh, God. But like, didn't he see that there's, that was weird. Never seen again. Yeah, I don't think they're, I think they're dead down there. Damn, man. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. The turret. We can get in through there. I'd be scared that I'd get like stuck or something. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh ladies first. Okay. Explore the plane wreck I'll return just take the service. A to say, Holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Can I not move forward? Oh, okay. There we go. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, she had another premonition. What if I press this? Fish are food, not, not friends. Fish. Ooh, cool. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. It's a picture. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Okay, so which way? This way? I think we continue this way. Oh no, we just came from that way. Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> Did she just drop it? Why would you drop the thing? We can use that later. <gasps> Is... Imagine he just comes to life. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. So, Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. in the beginning, there was this, it was in World War II, there was these two guys, and there was like this ghost, this little boy ghost, ended up um, killing everybody on, on the ship, the war ship, and then it almost kind of like there was a shadow of like this weird big creature, so I think it, it like, something was haunting the ship. Or some, some creature was attacking the ship. So in that ship, obviously, it probably sunk. But this is something different. This is a plane. So I'm a little confused about why. I was thinking it was going to be the big ship. But I figure maybe the big ship would have been found already. I don't know. Or maybe they'll come across the plane and then come across the big ship. I don't know. But anyways, so in the beginning of this... Um, the little brother who's sick in the cabin in the ship, he was the one that found this plane. Like he ended up doing his research and he ended up figuring out where this wreck was going to be or where he thought this wreck was going to be. And so the older brother, Ale, oh no, Brad is Brad. I think Brad is the older brother. Or no, Alex is older brother. Brad, I think, is the younger brother. Anyways, and then Alex is with his girlfriend and they're exploring the ship. And that's as far as we've gotten so far. But yeah, that it is a little confusing right now um, because the story just just started technically because there was like a little intro kind of scene, I guess, to introduce what or maybe maybe make us get a sense of what this creature could be possibly but or or like give a little intro as to why they're looking into world war two stuff but anyways yeah okay Easy now. oh the it's grand inquisitor yeah. yeah 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 uh just like an hour into this game but yeah there was like a good good half an hour of the intro 
Yeah, and the boulder hat guy. Yeah, like the narrator dude. Why are we doing this? What are we doing with this? What a dumbass. Cunning, selfish, excited. Oh, okay. So I don't know if we should be just going back now. I think so. Because we've explored everything that we can. Yeah, I think we're going back now. Oh, and the heavy, yeah, and the heavy metal score. There was an, an amazing heavy metal intro to this. Oh, yeah, they're going to totally touch everything. But I think it's going to work. It's, it's slowly working its way up to being scary, or it is going to work its way up to being scary. <laughs> you choose your own form of destruction. <laughs> Are we supposed to be continuing? Oh, maybe we're supposed to talk to Brad. Hold on. Or Alex or whoever. Oh yeah, she's still touching shit. He's holding something. Okay. I think we've touched everything, but I just want to see if I can talk to my boyfriend. Nope. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh God, Alex. Jesus. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Woo! Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time. Right time? Uh, I don't. Yes. Oh, oh my so God! I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? What if you lose the ring? You. I. I... Oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. No, not definitely not. An opportune time. <laughs> wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, something's gonna come right there in the background. All right, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Damn. This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Looks like D wins over money. Damn. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. <gasps> Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Decompress, right. That's more important, or we won't be able to help anybody if we're... Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Shit, man. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. 
<laughs> My coochie's hairy. <laughs> there was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Why are they paying the ocean? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Uh. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Cock tease. <laughs> huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Do you second? think maybe one of them, one of the guys <laughs> shot Holy the barbecue? Shit. The fisherman? Bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Whoop, whoop. Oh, here's Boulder Man. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem Oh sorry, Bowler. Yes, Bowler. The As Grand you, Inquisitor. The love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong. Forthright, stubborn. F this nerd. <laughs> Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Yeah. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady uh, never tells. <laughs> I have to say, this lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for you. I'll go look for him. Oh, oh he's he gonna be banging huh. Fliss. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, damn. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? My cute cheese, Harry. Oh, God. What did I do? Sorry, not sorry. My coochie's hairy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my coochie's hairy. <laughs> oh my god, Digit. <laughs> Digit, don't be a trap. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So... I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Uh. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. <laughs> the second you said yes. <laughs> oh my god. Future rolling out ahead. See, I didn't know. Uh, I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Uh oh. They're banging. Oh! Oh, damn! Ah! That's awkward. Coast Guard! The Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their mess! We gotta get rid of all this mess! 
Yes, we can't let them take us alive. Yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll delete, definitely delete that clip after. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What is that? Oh, that's the camera. Watch there be like something. She's going to see something. Okay, so that's it. Those are the pictures. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. What is she gra grabbing? Search for the nav pad. We're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Well, there's the bullet. Okay. Thank you, Digit. Have a nice sleep. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. What is it that they were trying to get? We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the lull. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Yeah, it should be left down right. there. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Shit. Maybe. I don't know Previously you. on my playthrough of Ghost you Recon. I've never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. You got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Oh, God. Supportive. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait true story where'd you hear this ah well down by the dockside i found an ancient old man skin like a leather book eye patch wooden leg the whole nine yards and for a dollar he told me his secrets seems legit the lighthouse stood atop an atoll 
isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> he of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here. Nerd, gotta do the important thing. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Um, so gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Oh, huh. the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Holy shit! <laughs> so gross. Ah, hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. Oh, I'm God. In orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Where is everyone supposed to sleep on that tiny boat? The only way to escape marriages. <laughs> oh, Molly treats. Oh, I don't even know where Molly is. I can try and get her to come. Oh my god, are those people? Who the fuck are those people? What the hell? What kind of so hostage sausage hostage situation is this? Oh, these are those fishermen people.
shit. You okay? I think so. Oh no. Almost free. Hey, so uh good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is <laughs> these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Here, little lady, you're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. But, like, why would these people? Are they going to cut out one of his eyes? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. What? What was the whole point of that? Crap. I can't tell if these people are friends. They speak baguette, right? <laughs>
They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, ransom bait. Where the little brother is, though. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. It's an in guy. And he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on our boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. God. Right? I don't know what he's this guy's doing. Oh. Oh, she sees. Oh my god. Escape. What happened there? What is that? Go, 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 go. Oops, 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 oops. That was a my bad. Shit. Did they shoot her? Julia? She's dead, isn't she? Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bâton! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh, it is, it is Fran French. Olsen! Come here! No, well, she ain't in whatever this game for do. <laughs> Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo?
Oh, okay, she's not dead. It's okay. I'm here. It's okay. You're gonna be fine, JJ. Uh, uh, I, I don't... Did she get shot in the head? No. I think they hit her. How could we have been so stupid? We're lucky it's not worse. We could have been killed. What were you thinking? This isn't just about you, Julia. We could have turned it around and we wouldn't be in this mess right now. All right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity your situation, sister. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Fuck you, crouton eater. Oh shit! Oh, I'm, I missed. <laughs> Sit still. All right, yeah. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. How is he she's supposed to know? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems with... Hey, just be careful. Oh shit! Oh my god. That was a my bad. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Oh, so these guys are like pirates. Dar Bunny! Thank you so much for the resub! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spooky. It's well, not spooky yet, but it's pretty intense so far. <laughs> Matt Tumbo. <laughs> uh, help. Oh shit. These quick events are not good. Move it. Now. How's it going? How was your night tonight? I don't know where he is. He might drown. Can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Oh, he was hiding. Okay. Hi, mom. But yeah, this is a. Uh, it's not scare that scary yet, but it is gonna be like a scary. Oh. It's gonna be like a scary. Oh shit scary game oh. 
Ooh, homework. Still alive. Oh no. That sucks, Star Bunny. Homework sucks. Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yes. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Bard. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull <laughs> I got some and reads bad. All that glisters is Somali gold. pirates with crappy French <laughs> accents. <laughs> anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Special feature unlocked. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Dun dun dun. So our boat Dar Bunny is hijacked at the moment with these French pirates and we're held hostage and we just found from the beginning of the whole game we found the haunted ship from World War II so this is not going to go very good now <laughs> La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! It's going to be awesome that these French people are going to die, but the, we are also going to die probably too. Junior, retire la tête d'un image. <clears throat> yeah, in the beginning, there's this creepy little kid that was running around the ship and was killing all the soldiers on this World War II ship. And they just found the ship, these pirates, and now they'll probably die to whatever was haunting the goat or haunting this ship. Nope, can't trust them kids. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, nope, no thanks. <laughs> oh, damn. Go on, keep moving. Okay, so. I'm glad that I put on the subtitles because it didn't have the sub... Like, it won't tell you what everyone's saying. Hey. You dumbass. Can I not look at shit? They're sticky and try to murder you. Exactly, Shintai. <laughs> I want to know how nobody has found this place. Like, it's some big-ass military ship. And nobody has found it yet. It's floating around the ocean. Jeez. 
Jesus. What in the butthole is that? <gasps> oh my god. What in the butthole is that? I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Jesus I'm Christ. Making my hair stick up. Shintai. Can I look at things, touch things, you know? What the hell do these dickheads want with us? What are they looking for? Oh shit! Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for the high J Chintai. And the stretch. Oh. Mm. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> okay. Scary Bill's gonna have to wait. There we go. <clears throat> oh, what's this? Um, is it gonna read it for me? Not read it, but oh shit. Oh, I put it in my pocket. Oh, do I go this way? Oh, yeah, okay. Awesome. Good box to see. Okay. I, I actually do. I was thinking of going pee soon. Because <laughs> I've drank like half my water bottle now. <laughs> Are they going to lock them in the ship? Okay, sounds good, Darbunny. What the hell is this fucking place? Those meatheads seem spooked. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian goal? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Uh it's too it's dangerous here. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. It didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just like hotwire it or something? No. We can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Search the room, get out of the room. Okay. Ooh, there's a picture. I wonder why this was ripped off. Quoi? 
Great. Okay, I think that's it now. Should we expect an itemized bill? What's going on? Just enjoying the perks of our all inclusive cruise. <laughs> okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holes. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. Sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Um, they're probably looking for gold. Those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? We want an adventure, right? Way to s uh, we wanted an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> you gonna man up and be a hero? Oh God! I'll be whatever you want. Duly noticed. So, those evil fishermen came back, dragon. I don't know if you saw those fishermen. Those people that like almost ran over. They like ran into the boat. So they came back in the middle of the night, held these people for hostage. And then they read the coordinates for the World War II ship. And now the evil pirates have brought the crew on the ship and locked them in this room. Yeah. Oh, blew up the barbecue. Yeah. So that's where we are now. Okay. Well, we're not going to do anything. And everyone's alive. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right. Are those super ghost days? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably Thais. <laughs> yeah, there's a vent. Yeah. That's one way out of this hellhole. Hey, look what I found over here. Okay, so he, he can work on that. We can read this. Oh. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson's expectation, expedition arrived. In the, kin in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the... Hmm. Interesting. Let's take a look. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Come here. Busted open. Freedom. Oh, 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 we don't know where a bit like this would go. Can't be worse. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. How old are you? A hundred times while slowly walking around the room, the yeah, ghost will help you escape, Connor, maybe. <laughs> How old are you? Where are you? Are you in here? Are you near? <laughs> uh, distract. Hey! Yeah, you, long 
John Silver and shit, but what are you guys doing out there? Long gone John Silver and shit. Pirate parrots. I'm warning you. I am an American You really want my president? I have. Their breakfast wraps are so good, Dragon. Oh, that's what you asked the ghost. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Shit, get out of there, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Hortons are, is okay. It's kind of declined over the years, but it's all right. Need to keep going. Look at that. I love what the dummy plays. Come on. There's got to be some stairs around here. I mean, I do like it better than McDonald's coffee. Um, I have had that before. Poutine flavored potato chips. Oh, why are we going in here? Can I go in deeper? Then there's the mystery of the smelling socks punching briefs. I don't know why I'm looking around here, but it let me so... <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't really like the poutine flavored potato chips. They're okay, but nah, they're uh, ugh. I like either ketchup, barbecue, um, oh my God. Was there someone standing right there? There was totally someone standing right there a second ago, wasn't there? I just want to know where the hell they all went. Or was that a glitch? Of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? I don't know if you guys and saw that. Stuff behind. Something doesn't add up. But I was oh my god. I hate these controls. No, turn around. Where's the you are here arrow? Uh, you are here. It was like underneath, now that I think of it, it would have been un underneath chat. Underneath chat and underneath my webcam, so you wouldn't have seen it. It was like some girl in like the old nurse uniform, and she just standing in the corner. But it looked like it was a glitch, but I don't think so. I think it was supposed to be scary, but it wasn't really scary. It was just kind of weird. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's something over here. It says, Dear, Dear Alice, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal, steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Really creeps me out. What? I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board. And it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's something, there's some commotion outside that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. See, there's about that little kid. Damn. 
Okay. This is where it's going to start to get, like, a little intense and spooky. Okay. Oh, nope. No, this way. You hear that? If by that, you mean that... Okay, there was a nurse. Okay, that's what I thought. And when I went back, I didn't see anything. <laughs> this place is fucking massive. Like, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm just going the right way. It sucks that these half these guys don't have shoes. I'm going to look around. Oh, there's something right here. Ooh. What the hell? There we go. What is that? A little a little skeleton of a mouse or a rat or something? Ghost Lady, clipped by Darbunny. <laughs> it must, it might have been hard to see, like, under, I'm thinking of probably. I like either ketchup, barbecue, um, oh my god. You, um, oh my god. Was there someone standing right there? There was totally someone standing right there a second ago, wasn't there? <laughs> or was that a glitch? Yeah, totally a ghost lady. <laughs> oh. Oh, premonition. Yeah, here we go. We get to see the future. Oh, shit. What was that? Let's view that again. Who was that that was getting smashed? Oh, Alex. Ooh. That's cool. Secrets. I don't have any secrets yet. Ooh. I like the like the look into the future kind of shit. That's cool. Uh-oh. Turn off your light, you dumbass. Yeah. There's someone down there, all right. Shh. Everyone quiet. Oh, that's the the cap. He just put the cap down. Look. It's the distributor cap on the nuke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Shit. Holy crap. Get out. 
shit. Ooh, this is scary. There's only one of them. They can take him. Shit. Arrête de crier. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Oh no, that's right in front of him. Shit. All right. I see you. Come on. Step out. Stand over there with her. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. Damn. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. Two thirty AM. Find a way off the ship, find the others. Okay. Also, I, sh I am gonna be ending soon because I probably should go go to bed. What was that? You hear that? Maybe we can ask for uh, <laughs> Walk a little faster, Julia. I'm telling you, we had an iceberg. We're going down. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. that's nasty. God. Alex, what is it? Nothing. You don't want to know. What? What does that mean? Why aren't you telling me? Ew. Gross. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's <laughs> as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Ooh, my foot's itchy. Ooh! Oh, my God. I hate that. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything over here that's... Ooh, that's good. Can we keep that? Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Alex, you don't want to end up hurting the wrong person with that. You should just put it down. No, why would we? Why? These people. Why is his neck like that? His neck is... All right, what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ! There's something in here with us! Did, didn't you... I mean, did you hear anything? 
Oh my god, that scared me. She scared me. All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. I didn't see anything, but we don't know. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Oh, poor people. Jesus Christ, Shintai. Oh my god. Whew. Hey, we got a name on this guy. What are they even Oh doing? my god. I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. I don't know if I'm supposed to read all the nameplates. Dreams be dreams. dreams. I mean, oh yeah, totally wore the yellow pants. What's the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave. I'm gonna look at all the caskets. I don't care. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't wanna know. Get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native. Oh country. my god. eat off his face. The end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. It's the mummy. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Let's look. It's <gasps> Jesus. What Look. What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Oh my god. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Nothing good. Why Are they so spick and span? Ew, look at that thing there. That's gross. Watch. Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh what my in god. What hole is that? Jesus, why are we touching this guy? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Damn, man. Woo. Connie? Oh yeah, they've been touching absolutely everything this whole game. Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I'm not gonna stop touching things. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. the hell why is why are we ahead of this is weird like why are we walking ahead <laughs> the touching stuff high high score right Oh, I guess. Yeah, B goes in the front. Stop. Oh, he's totally going to die, this guy here. I want to see what happens with the others before we have to go. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping the pirate people die first, because that would be good. What the way? Olsen! Huh? Jesus. It's so cursed. It's the Christ. mummy. That, guy. <laughs> that guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> Creepy as shit. What do you think happened to this guy? Face looking like that. I don't know. Looks like nothing I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Secret found. Terrified looking corpse. It seems as though they were cowering away from something when they died. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It would be neat to get all the secrets. Oh my god, I just saw a hand. Ooh, do you guys see that hand? Yeah. Also, this is another premonition. I wanted to read that, you asshole. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, 
What? Okay, what just happened? I don't know. What the hell? I want to see if I can find that picture. Ah, there we go. Ooh, what is that? That's cool. There is a time for questions and time for beat feet, and sometimes you cut your losses and dip, right? Ooh, what's this? Something's gonna jump scare me. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I knew that too. Oh my god. God damn it. I knew it. Whoo. That can't be a good sign. Damn, man. Shut up. What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. What happened down here? Oh, that's kind of a cool angle, actually. That's really cool. Charles that's the friend that's sad or is that actually I don't know okay we keep going no Damn. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll go a little bit further because I want to know what happens to Fliss. 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 Where'd you go? Who's this? I want to know who this is. Look exactly alike. Damn. Hey. Fliss, hey, where, where were you? What's our problem? What the hell? Literally just did this, didn't we? Alex. Huh. That's weird. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave this off here because it's not like a cliffhanger. It kind of is, but it's not. So I'm gonna leave it. Um, I think I can just exit out, I think, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to play some tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna be playing probably Phasophobia if I don't play this in the afternoon. Oh, how do I get? Oh, there we go, quit. Oh, there we go. Then I'll probably uh, play some Phasophobia at nighttime, but, or at night, yeah, like tomorrow night after work. Hold on, my monitor just turned off, so then I can't use my other monitor. Let me just l turn it back on. Good night, Darbunny. Thanks again for the resub. I appreciate it. But yeah, I wanted to leave it at like a, a good part, not like a really weird, weird, strange part that like a super cliffhanger, but kind of is. We don't know what happened to the other people, so we'll leave it at that. Um, we are going to raid, we are gonna raid, let's raid Raven. She's playing Palia. She's super cool, super fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll stop by, say hello to her, but thank you guys for hanging out with me and, uh, I'll see you in Raven stream. And good night, Don. Good night, Darbunny. And good night, Shintai and whoever else is hanging out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. If I don't stream during the day, I'll probably be streaming Phasophobia later on then. <laughs> I'll be playing Phasophobia anyways, regardless. Right, Darbunny? I think we're going to be playing Phasophobia tomorrow. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys later. And have a nice night. Bye. <laughs>